Hi there, my name is Martin Salter from the Anglin Trust and we're here at what many people consider the mecca of English crucian fishing, Johnson's Lake, run by Godalming Angling Society at Milford in Surrey. Today we want to talk about Catch a Crucian Month. This is an initiative between the National Crucian Conservation Project and the Association of Crucian Anglers and it's designed really to promote crucian fishing to try and encourage clubs and fishery owners to think about uh, what a great little fish crucians are to stock and how they could manage their fisheries with crucians in mind. Here at uh, Godalming, the Marsh Farm day ticket fishery just over the road, uh, that's been going since around 2004, that produced something like £20,000 for the club last year in day ticket sales. Just goes to show how popular fishing for crucians are uh, and what a great investment it can be for a club to convert their fishery to a bespoke crucian fishery, to think about stocking species like tench and rudd that, that mix very well with, with crucians uh, and perhaps moving away from that, that king carp monoculture which has become, in our view, too much uh, a, a part of still water course fishing in this country. Well I'm not fishing here alone today, uh, I haven't caught a crucian yet unfortunately this morning, I hooked and lost a tench, but I, I have got uh, my old friend and famous uh, passion for angler filmmaker Hugh Miles, a fellow crucian enthusiast, he's fishing with us down at Johnson's, so let's go and see how Hugh's getting on. How's it going? Struggling. Well Hugh, you're normally the other side of the camera. Ah yes, but um, and that's where I'd rather be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, well, I'd rather be watching your float go under. How's it been going this morning? Slow, slow, very slow. But part of the charm of, of crucian are that they can be damnably difficult to catch. And even when you're getting bites, you quite often can't actually catch them. Well, I've had but three then, bites up there that have just gone like that and I've struck each time and missed. It's so frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, it is but that's part of the joy of crucian. They're such beautiful fish and, and they live in the most beautiful places, the most beautiful places in Britain. And we're here at Johnson's Lake in June. We've designated June as Catch a Crucian Month, lovely time of the year for fishing for crucians. And running alongside that is our Catch a Crucian Month photographic competition. We're very, very pleased that, that Hugh and Chris Yates and Peter Rolfe and Chris Turnbull have all agreed to be judges. Very easy competition, just go onto the Angry Trust website to enter. Um, we've got categories for uh, young people with crucians, for scenic shots of crucians, and of course for pictures of, of big and, and specimen crucians. So Hugh, tell us, what, 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 what would you say is a the sort of golden rule of, of doing a good fishing photo? Well, beautiful light for a start, um, preferably backlit, uh, because then that lovely con convex dorsal fin will glow in the light and the background is absolutely vital, the background to the shot. In fact, quite often you can combine both the scenic and the beauty of the crucian by setting it against the lake. So you can hold the crucian out level with your face so the definition is good and the background's beautiful. So those are two things I'd certainly be looking for. Well, thanks for that. And we published on, in the, uh, uh, on, on the competition website uh, some of your photographic tips so hopefully at the end of the day people will be able to identify what is a true crucian as opposed to a hybrid or a brown goldfish they'll be able to take better pictures and if we can inspire a new generation of crucian anglers out there that'll be a job well done won't it perfect well there are a few better places in the country to catch a three pound plus crucian carp than here at Godalming Angling Club's water at uh, Marsh Farm or at the adjacent Johnson's Lake where all the original stock came from. And doesn't a three pound crucian look a very, very special fish indeed. A beautiful, beautiful buttery bar of gold. Well, I hope you've enjoyed joining Hugh Miles and myself on our crucian quest down here at Godalming. The fishing's been a bit slow today, but we're confident we'll get one or two a bit later on perhaps. There's a few days still left to go in the month of June, so why not celebrate Catch a Crucian Month? Get out there, get a few bars of gold for yourself, take one or two nice pictures, and enter them into the competition. There's some fabulous prizes to be won, and anything that promotes Crucian Carp and encourages people to restore their habitat, it's gotta be a good thing. The details are here.